Welcome to this introduction. This is Piridon speaking, and we are watching Victor doing his magic, creating the cover for Codex Obscurus. Now, I have the honor to babble away while you are mesmerized by his craft. I'm working on this book since June 2019, and this book has been the most ambitious project I've ever created. Without the help of so many people, but mostly Victor, this would never have become a reality. Codex Obscurus is what I gladly call my two-date masterpiece, and I can't wait to hold the book in my hands. Let's talk about it. I believe art books should be printed and bound as hardcover books, and that softcover printing should be reserved for magazines. As such, I knew from the start that Codex needed to be a hardcover book. I also wanted to give the book a clean and modern, yet simultaneously traditional appearance, inspired by early printmaking practices such as woodcuts and letterpress. Victor has created all his codex designs and typeface using a unique mix of traditional and modern tools. He combined linoleum cutting with digital mediums, traditional printing methods and gold leaf embellishments. There are only a limited number of handmade prints available in this campaign, and any collector of handmade art will certainly find them worth owning. It was important to me to make sure the book itself was an adequate vessel for all the artwork it contains, and Victor did a perfect job in achieving thematically consistent concepts. Within the space of a week, he managed to carve multiple cover variations until we settled on the right one that we felt had the right perspective and carried the right meaning and tone. Aside from his Glarunica font, he also created several other fonts which have not been used in the final product, with the exception of one very interesting recreation of an authentic two-style font from a 1989 book he found. Let's talk about the Tarot deck, also designed by Victor. It depicts the Mayo Arcana cards, plus four extra cards that complete Victor's vision of the Glarunica alphabet, an original melange of runes, pre-Kyrillic Glagolitic script and Arabic numerals which he specifically designed. Victor took his time studying the history of tarot, when it was used, by whom, and why. His studies culminated in a deck of 26 cards, created to correspond with his Glarunica alphabet. Numbers play a big role in this deck, and are visible not only as Arabic numerals, but also through the inclusion of the Hebrew alphabet and symbolic numeral usage of symbols such as stars and skulls. This adds options for how the tarot deck can be used how names can be decrypted and meanings can be unlocked. All this will be explained in the booklet, included with the cards, which are made from high-quality playing card stock and both will be in a beautifully designed two-piece box. The explanations are created with the assistance of Paul Mountfort, who is a writer, researcher and workshop leader specialized in oracles and the Celtic and Norse traditions. Aside from the book and the tarot deck, we will offer limited handmade prints by Victor and selected original artwork that was used in the book, sold directly by the artists. I truly hope that you enjoyed this introduction, as long as it was. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, tell your friends about it.